All right. Well, good evening, everybody. I get a uh, I get to have some fun this evening, and I got a young cowboy that we get to talk about his horse. So, why don't you tell everybody your name and uh, where you're from, and we'll start with that. My name is Corey Jones. I am from Knox City, Texas. Knox City, Texas. All right. What part of the state is that in? Uh oh. East, west. <laughs> there we go <laughs> i like that uh well Corey, i i appreciate Corey. yeah i gotta get your name right i'm gonna call you something different here in a minute bud you'll have to correct me if i do that okay uh people call me all kinds of names well let's not be telling everybody what mom and dad call you i mean that that might get them in trouble okay <laughs> oh. I'm willing, to, I'm willing to bet they call you, if they call you anything other than Corey, it's because you deserved it, huh, bud? Probably. Yeah, that's good. All right, well, Corey, we got it. You're down there in Texas, and uh, how old are you? Ten. Ten, all right. And uh, the way I see this, we're going to talk about your horse, but you're well on the way to being a horse trainer. I don't know about that. No? All right, but well, you can sure enough ride one. <laughs> all right so what we're doing with the horse you have for sale Corey, is we're going to get over here to where we can see him and his name is dual downtown all right he's a 2000 2008 bay gelding about 14 2 well you must be you must be plenty tall to be able to get up on him yourself you don't have to use a fence or anything do you no i put my knee in the strap and just climb Ah, I like that. I like that. All right. Well, and talking to to you and your parents there, this is a the horse y'all have known for quite a while and been around, and so you get the you get the pleasure of riding him. And I'm guessing he's the one you use on the ranch all the time right now. Most of the time, yes, sir. Yeah. All right. And when you when you say you ranch and you use this horse, what all do you go do on him? Doctors from Yearlings. Trot, trot around Dr. Yearlings. Okay. You doing the roping? I, well, my dad does the doctoring, so I heal him and hold him down. But, well, heck yeah. I don't, yeah, don't want to, yeah, I don't want to get in a roping contest with you because you're liable to whoop my behind. Mm, I'm pretty rusty right now. Hey, <laughs> there you go. I like it humble. All right, but this is a nice, nice little gelding um, that you all been using, that you've been riding. Um, we got some pictures here. Um, I know you all took some more pictures today, Corey, so we're going to send those to everybody. But I'm going to jump down in here, and I ask you, I ask you, I mean, am I right? I mean, he's only bucked you off twice. He ain't never bucked. <laughs> all right well yeah, i'm just checking in again and again just to make sure you know no guys this is a very very honest horse there this horse doesn't as you said cory right he ain't got a mean bone in his body all right well okay hey look there's your video can you see that yes sir all That's right so you yeah That's how I get on him. <laughs> Looks like he stands still for you to get on him most of the time. Yes, sir. He's pretty gentle. Uh, is he? Okay. You, I suspect you can rush, brush the bottom of his belly just standing there, huh? Just yes, walk sir. right under him. Yes, sir. <laughs> here you are. Uh, what were you doing here? You all just out in the roping arena? Yes, sir. Out in our arena, just trotting little circles, two or three okay. circles, and stop him and then go the other way. Boy, he looks like he has a pretty good stop on him. He is. He can stop and turn around pretty good. And it doesn't look like you're doing anything but neck reining. No, sir. Yeah, you got to have a rope in that other hand, so he better steer with one, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, here. Okay. And I think here in a second, you start tracking that dummy, huh? Yes, sir. You do quite a bit of that? When I need to. <laughs> when your roping's rusty like it is right now, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that's when you get in trouble and you forget to go catch those steers on, you forget to heal them, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Here we go. Let's see how rusty you are. Oh, by golly, you caught. I thought you said you were rusty. 
Well, that was before the cold spell, so. Oh, I got you. I got you. Well, it looks like he lopes for you pretty good. Yes, yeah, sir. Smooth. Is it? All right. That's what I was going to ask you. Pretty smooth loper, huh? Yes, yeah, sir. Seems smooth to always. Track. Yeah. Looks like he always picks up the correct lead and does that. Yes, sir. Now, when you get out there and you're sorting cows in the past or anything, will he really look at a cow? I know he had some cutting training in the past. Yes, sir. He'll look at one. Yeah. <laughs> Here you're just kind of showing us the handle he has. Now, when you're out and riding about and doing everything, he stays gentle, don't he? Yes, sir. Well, you know, you probably ought to put that halter on him instead of just standing there making him look at it. He ain't in a hurry to go anywhere, is he? He just likes you and is awful gentle. Yes, sir. All right. Now, you do all the trimming of his feet, or who does that? Our horse here, we don't trim feet. We don't no. shoe them. Don't shoe them? They're all barefoot? No. Okay, you're just your horse. horse. The farrier puts all the shoes on. Is he good for all that? Yes, yeah, so he's easy. He's easy to shoe. Okay. You got good feet, the straight legs? Yes, sir. All right. Any bumps or bruises? No, sir. Okay. It is sound. Absolutely. I like it. Look at this. Huh? You just saddle him. You get that saddle up there yourself, too? No, sir. I can't throw it up there but i can get her down heck yeah i like that there's your rope oh yeah here we go i forgot i forgot this is the best part i like this where there's a will there's a way you figure out how to do everything that you can do don't you yes sir all right uh, Corey. oh yeah i forget I, I got i'm getting ahead of myself i need to be patient on this video we want to watch it and let you talk about it but i thought maybe you were going to tack a shoe on or something but you're just going to pick up his feet yeah i just pick up his feet and mess with his feet a little bit but. yep he looks like he's good with everything by golly yes. it's easy i guess going underneath his belly is the easiest way to get from one side to the other huh yes sir a lot less walking <laughs> that's good a good deal Corey. i really like your horse here bud this is a nice one and I know we got your mom and dad's phone number on here. And so if anybody has any questions, if they're looking for the using horse for the family or that anybody can come get on and just go use, Corey here has done an awful nice job with this. Um, he's been using it out there, doctoring cattle, working the ranch with mom and dad. So um, I'm not sure Corey's gonna answer the phone when you call, but I reckon if you ask for him, he will. Yes, sir. All right. Well, anything else you want to? Oh, I didn't ask you the most important thing. What's his name? Dennis. Dennis. Dennis the Menace. Yes, sir. <laughs> I think I think you might be Dennis the Menace. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I like that. All right, folks. Well, Corey here. He's telling you all about this horse. This is a good one. If you have questions, give his mom and dad a call. Give him a call. And uh, he'll be glad to tell you everything about him. Another good, honest horse here. And I'm excited to have him on. So take a look.